one thing I also need to say is that the snicker bar, okay, so snickers sounds like sneakers and it matches this sneaker that I have that actually has marathon written on it, which is a weird coincidence because marathon was the name of what snickers used to be called when they were first made back in 1930. Um, and it's, it's interesting how, um, how that connection has happened. And this trainer though was something that Jason gave me um, three or four years ago when I went to Egypt. Egypt, I guess, in the Bible is represents slavery and stuff, but um, that that could suggest that the planet that it's referring to in 14 you know, billion, it could re represent that this was a, the first planet given to me by my partner, I guess the matrix, when you become a, a god, um, the matrix becomes your partner because you have to work with the matrix to form kids which is like humans so maybe that's saying that um pointing at you know that being my birth 14 um but i also have to say that jason you know broken down is you know a son if you take off the j jason actually says a son and therefore um if jason a son was the one who gave me this sort of sneaker trainer and if the sneaker trainer looks like snicker bars and snicker bars was you know points to this 14 it could suggest that maybe i had a child before that um and one of those children tried to conquer um well tried to form a you know a gal gained access to a um a um a, a galaxy in the milky way in 14 1400 but he failed sons they can't make gods um so, sons are not gods and so the fact that it's a son could could suggest that one of a god that i made from a different galaxy and managed it from probably one of the outskirts so one managed to enter into this galaxy um try to create a timeline on a galaxy in the milky way um and failed hence why he is a son not a daughter because it, it shows that he didn't actually become a god but maybe i inherited that galaxy because he was my child um and you know i, I was thinking that if there was a person here trier or something I, I commented that if there was a god that came to earth's galaxy uh, called rexa if, if there was a god called it rexa who came here to earth and and failed um, you know, that could be why I'm here because she failed um, and maybe I was caught up on a different timeline, hence why there was a six, um, how, how many years between dinosaurs, 140, did I say there was 140 billion years between um, the, the Triassic period versus the Jurassic period. So maybe I was busy during that time, but when I finished that timeline, um, it was occurred to came to my attention that a, a god that I'd made had failed on this planet, hence needed, and because it had been such a long time that they people didn't know about her or didn't know about this failure, maybe maybe I was called because because of that. And the fact that um, you know the trainer that's I wearing the one that has marathon marathon that links to kind of a snicker bar because snicker bars were called marathon, um, you know maybe it is it's more saying that I wasn't born on in 14,000 in 14,000 uh, billion BC um, but rather um, I came to the Milky Way because um, of a, a planet that um, a, a, a god child I made and failed hence as a god son never made it to being a daughter because he never made it to you know actually birthing himself for, for you to create a timeline you have to to kill the dinosaurs and then come down as a as a um as a female have a child and and maybe he just never maybe he gained the sun but never actually managed to create the timeline create himself failed um and maybe I, maybe that's all it's saying that sneaker thing it could be a sign that i wasn't born 14 billion years ago but rather um i first came to the M mw 14 billion years ago um you know i i have I have visions of, of the MW exploding and everyone being in shock at how big it was, but I don't feel like that's my memory. I feel like it's, it's Tinny's memory. Um, 
but yeah maybe there is a possibility you know if i'm occupied with making a timeline maybe I, I didn't see things or maybe there was a period where i slept and i didn't see it or maybe I, i'm just making that up and i did actually create it maybe it was me telling another god that you know i i know how old the milky way is because i was alive then and my brain doesn't want to believe that i'm that that old that i've tried to switch the conversation um but tinny was definitely older than me and, and this woman definitely looks like Brit beyonce but um I don't know. I, maybe again, that what what this vision is is actually her talking about a different planet, one that was before me. Maybe it was her talking about the galaxy that I was born on, or something. Me not knowing the age of the gal the galaxy that I was first born on, and her her telling me, you know, yes, I was there. I was. So I, I feel like I'm getting a vision, but just because I get a vision doesn't mean I understand it. Doesn't mean that I can properly read it or know what it's talking about. Um, similar thing actually happened today when I was trying to think about um, the planet that I was first born on and what my mum was like. I started getting, I was trying to listen, I was trying to watch the, I saw a, a TV screen of her on it and talking to the world, but I couldn't hear her. But then I started hearing, um, it's up, time's up, the, she's come, the crisis come. And I started listening to that voice more carefully, trying to think, what voice am I hearing? And then I actually started realising that I was actually just hearing the Charlie and the Chocolate actually you know how um, they started saying the lucky win the number, you know, there's like in a sort of an American, an old 60s American accent um, talking about how lucky the person that won the golden ticket. So I was, I was hearing a voice and I was trying to link it to this vision. But at the same time, I kept listening to that voice. I'm just like, that voice actually just sounds like something I'm hearing from from Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. And and um, and the Baruch assault, Baruch assault, and her being so proud and, and happy. So I, I feel like sometimes I can have a vision and I can try to read into the vision and I start seeing other visions, but other visions are actually linked to completely different things. But I don't know, I feel like my high self might be showing me something in that, but I don't know exactly what it means. I mean, if, if it was a very, very long time ago that this was, then maybe what the world had in the 80s you know whatever the world had in the 80s that, that could be what because it looked this vision that i have of this um of seeing Kay kayla um um I, I feel like the world that i lived in looked more like the 80s or how the 80s would be then so you know things that haven't been that things that are invented now might have not been invented back then even though color tv had been invented um, but yeah i just is this a false religion is this me telling truth i don't know i i want people to decide and i, I would also love to know what people think you know do you think i'm i'm 14 if i've done 40 sons and i've tried to stay on the suns as long as possible um i would have only left a son if i felt like i couldn't wait long enough to for or fall asleep long enough for, for the next planet to to come around um but yeah do, do you think I'm, I'm 14 billion does 14 billion sound right or do you think that's just 14 billion as in when i first came to um to the milky way but hey if, if that's there's quite a big difference between 14 billion and 21 billion so the milky way might still be older than me but maybe i was just born somewhere else in a sort of you know you know 18 19 billion years old but i don't want to give my my age away or something i i don't really know i'm happy i'm happy to say 14 billion um is that the truth or or is, am i a bit older than that I, I, what do other people think what what do people think